Yeah, why not? garlic are you putting in there? 12 cloves. The thing about sharing a cubicle with someone is that you end up spending more time together than you do with your actual family. Don't trick me. Are you having tricked me? Am I giving me the wrong amount? I would not stoop. All right, so goodbye. Low. Kim and I worked next to each other in the New York Times dining section for so long that we became what we called work wives. We were life partners, including not only the love and support, but also the squabbling and getting on each other's nerves. I've known Julia and Kim for the better part of a decade now. That's how long we've all worked together at the New York Times. And so I was, I was here at the times when Cook Fight was born. And it was exciting to see it come to life because there are many cookbooks on which two great authors, two great cooks collaborate, but there aren't any I know of where they compete. She's an earnest Midwesterner. I'm a sarcastic native New Yorker. Wow, it looks just like takeout. It was our job to talk about food all day, but we could never agree about anything. The best way to roast a chicken, what flour to use for biscuits, even what words to use to describe a cheese. With us, it's always a cook fight. Here's the thing, here's the thing about cooking with someone else is it makes you a better cook, I think. And cooking with Julia has made me a much better cook. Partially because I always wanted to be better than you. I have had Kim cook for me and it was splendiferous. I have had Julia cook for me and it was marvelous. And as I say that, my heart begins to race because I can hear each of them. They're not here, but if they were here, they'd be saying who was better and I'm not going to get drawn into that. Is this that. your recipe? <laughs> You, after reading and cooking from Cook Fight, you can decide. Why, because it's too good? It's too good. <laughs> <laughs>